Hey everyone, I am here today to do a video and talk to you guys about uh, where I'm at with my buzzing hair loss journey. My hair loss buzzing journey. I don't actually know what to call this. So 10 months ago, I did a video buzzing my hair off. I did it on camera for all of my wig sisters because I had been struggling with whether or not to actually buzz my hair off or shave my head. I didn't go fully shaved uh, for at that point it had been over a year since I had started wrestling with the whole notion of doing that. Ten months ago and it's it's November right now I'm actually filming this the day before Thanksgiving in uh, 2020. Uh, Ten months ago I finally got up the courage to just buzz all of my hair off and I filmed it. So I have a playlist on my YouTube channel of all of the videos related to my bio hair. Most of them are related to this buzzing journey. So in the last 10 months, I've given a couple of updates on how it's going because I know this is a huge, huge topic of conversation, of thought for my wig sisters who have hair loss, especially long-term hair loss, who've been dealing with losing hair for a long time, like I have over 20 years. And I know it's such a difficult thing because you feel so torn you want to buzz your hair off you're not sure if you should buzz your hair off it's a real challenge and so I knew that filming it would be really helpful so I did that then I came back and gave a, an update a few weeks later about how it was going then I gave another update and then I gave an update the last one that I did was this past summer about maybe three months ago or so almost four months ago about the struggles I was having with my buzzed hair. So while I loved my hair being buzzed and there are so many benefits to it, I was experiencing a few little struggles and I was debating about growing my hair back out. And so I did a video on that. Well here I am now to give you guys an update on where I am with that. So this that you see here is about four months of regrowth or a little more than four months. I think I last buzzed my hair right around the 4th of July. And so what's today is November 25th. So, you know, more than four months ago. And I have learned so much in the last 10 months having, you know, long hair. My hair was down to my shoulders prior to buzzing. And then where I am today. And I thought, gosh, you know, I still see so many questions about this in the Facebook groups. And people are always asking, what should I do? And they're struggling with this. So I wanted to come on here now that I'm almost a year into having had my hair buzzed and share with you the pros and cons and my experience. Hopefully this will help you if you're struggling. I know some of you have buzzed your hair off and never looked back. So whether you're in the journey right now where you don't know what to do or you've made the decision one way or the other and you're very happy with it, I hope you'll leave some comments to help you, help the rest of our wig sisters out because this right here is why I do videos. I love doing wig reviews. I love sharing different colors, different styles. I know that's super important as well. But the struggles on this journey... These are things that only us sisters who have hair loss can fully understand. And if some of us aren't talking about it and not sharing about it, then we, those of us who don't have know any people in real life who are losing their hair, have no help. And so I'm here. I know I do lots of wig reviews, and I'm really blessed to have the opportunity to do that. The main reason I'm here on YouTube is to help my wig sisters with this journey because I'm going on it with you guys and I'm experiencing it with you guys and so I'm just going to share. So let me know if this is helpful for you. Let me know if you have questions about this and please my sisters on here who I know are active on YouTube reading and watching videos, please share in the comments your own experience. It really, really helps others. All right, let's get into this video here so it's not too long. I have some lit. I did. I, I actually wrote down some notes this time because I really want to make sure I hit on all of these points. I normally don't do this. I normally just kind of chat off the cuff, but this is to me too important of a topic to just gloss over it. So I want to start out by sharing with you guys the reasons why I decided to buzz my hair in the first place. So 10 months ago, when I finally made my decision to buzz my hair, I had been struggling with the decision to do that for over a year. One of the main reasons why I didn't do it 
right away was, well, there were a couple main reasons. One was just fear, fear of the unknown. I had no idea what I, what would, how it would be. But another reason was my husband wasn't really on board with it. And while I know some of you um, don't agree with my decision to honor my husband's feelings in this journey, I respect wherever you're at with it. I ask that you respect where I'm at with it. And where I am is my husband is the most important person in the world to me. And I respect his feelings. And if he wasn't ready, then I don't know why I would have been a, a selfish enough to go, well, too bad, I don't care about you. I, I would have looked at it that way because I think he takes me into consideration as well. So I really wanted to make sure that I was really adamant about doing this. I wanted to maybe give him some time to get there. So by the time I was really ready, he was willing and ready to just let me do what I felt was best. He still wasn't fully on board with it, but he finally got to the point where he was just like, babe, if you really want to do it, then go ahead. So the, the couple of reasons why I didn't buzz my hair at first. So here are some of the bullets I wrote down. I thought I needed it to blend. I'm going to address every single one of these pre buzzing and after buzzing. I thought it needed, I needed my hair to blend. I needed the hair here to blend. I, that was the main hair that I thought I needed for blending. I thought I needed the baby pony in the back to keep the wig secure. I know a lot of you guys relate to this. You feel like the wig is riding up in the back and so you feel like you need that baby pony to hold it in place and I did too. Um, sometimes I like to wear baseball caps and I thought I needed um, longer hair to make those look presentable. I know you can wear wigs with baseball caps, but I tend to be so hot all the time. Having two layers on my head was not appealing to me. Um, but I still do like to wear baseball caps sometimes. I had no idea how I'd look with buzzed hair. I kind of said that one already. My husband wasn't on board. I said that already. And the fear of the unknown. So those were the main reasons why I didn't buzz my hair. Is, you know, I really thought I just, that, that my bio hair still served a purpose. So... When I finally made the decision to buzz my hair, here's what I experienced in relation to these items that I thought would be an issue. Number one, I thought I needed it to blend. In all reality, I wear so many different colors of wigs and some of you may not be there yet so you can't really relate to this. I wear so many different colors of wigs that I can't use this hair really to blend anyway, for the most part. There's, there's um, root powder and things that you can use if it's not a drastic color change. But I'm not able to really blend this well with really light colors. It's really hard to get root powder to lighten up your bio hair in that way. So I don't find that with the variety of wigs that I wear that blending is really that big of an issue. And as you can see, I'm really getting salt and pepper here. And between the salt and pepper and the fact that this hair is so wispy and fine, it really doesn't blend that well. So I've just found that I'm not really able to do that as much as I thought I was going to be able to do that. Uh, and the other part of it is the back of my hair. So if I can get in here and show you guys. I have a very low hairline at the nape and so I can't really blend that well so it's actually more of a hindrance than a help in shorter wigs and so I'm not finding that just any of this is is helping that much with blending and as I start to get comfortable with shorter wigs which I didn't used to ever wear short wigs and now I'm really able to wear some shorter wigs anything with a nape less than about an inch and three quarters I run the risk of being able to see this bio hair back here because it's so low. And so that's an issue with short wigs. And so it's not that helpful to have that bio hair there uh, uh, with shorter wigs. The second point, baby ponytail. I'm calling it the baby pony fallacy because buzzed hair actually holds a wig more securely than you would ever imagine. The the And I don't shave my head bald. I buzzed my hair the shortest. Uh, I use the clippers and the shortest um, attachment that I used was a two. And so I'd never buzzed it less than a two. And that little bit of stubble there really acts like, people will say this, your hair acts like Velcro. And it kind of does. And I actually found my wigs to stand my head more securely 
when my hair was buzzed than it they ever felt like they did with the baby pony and now with this amount of regrowth this four month regrowth I feel like my wigs are riding up worse than ever and I do think it's because your my hair is long and it moves and it shifts and it's so baby fine and so having buzzed hair actually works better than a baby pony on me if you have a super flat head, I know everybody has different head shapes. I don't know if your head is a different shape than mine. Obviously, you're going to have a different experience. But for me, and I will tell you for a lot of Wig Sisters, I come in contact with so many Wig Sisters through this channel, through the YouTube or the Facebook groups I'm in, on Instagram, and I get constant comments about buzzed hair being more secure with wigs. So this is not just my experience. It is a lot of people's experience. So that baby pony idea to me was a big fallacy. It didn't help nearly as well as buzzed hair does. Baseball cap challenges. So I was worried that I wouldn't be able to comfortably wear baseball caps with buzzed um, hair. And I gotta tell you, that's like the only one of my concerns that is still pretty true with buzzed hair, or came true. Um, a baseball cap, I do tend to look sick like I have cancer, which is what most people uh, equate like hair loss with cancer. I know there's other reasons people lose their hair, um, but I do kind of look like a cancer patient when I have a base baseball cap on when my hair was buzzed, so I didn't wear it. That is the one area that's a challenge. It does look better. It still doesn't look great right now with the length of hair I have. I would really have to grow my hair out more, um, but I don't wear them that much. So to me, that's really not a reason. For all of the negatives that I'm experiencing with my hair this length, that one positive isn't enough for me to go, yeah, I'll keep my hair longer. But that one did come true. How did I look? So I was worried about how I would look. It was the fear of the unknown. Quite honestly, I didn't look terrible. I mean, I, I, I did go out one time with my hair buzzed, but other than that, I don't think I would be really going out. I, I don't know if I'll ever get confidence to do that. Maybe if I lost about 50 pounds and my face was a lot thinner, maybe. Um, but I was really comfortable walking around the house with my hair buzzed and even in the yard. Super comfortable. Way more than I am now with my hair this length and with all of this hair loss because you couldn't see the, the contrast with the balding as well. And so I actually didn't look terrible. The one thing I don't like about the way I look with my hair buzzed is the back here. I just don't like the shape of my head and my, you know, I'm overweight and so my neck is a little overweight. I don't really like the way that looks with my hair buzzed. That was the one area I didn't love on me was the back when my hair was buzzed, but it didn't look that bad. And the last one I had um, was my husband. And I gotta tell you guys, he made a huge transformation after I buzzed my hair, truly. He, uh, constantly rub my head he would just affectionately come and rub my head when I wasn't wearing anything on it he didn't really do that when my hair was longer and thinning but he did once I buzzed my head it was so interesting and he didn't have any issues with it at all none he really came along and so the I got to say, all of the reasons, with the exception of the baseball cap, that I had for keeping my hair, none of them played out in the end with buzzed hair. So that was kind of before and after. So now there are additional benefits, things I did not realize that would be a benefit with buzzed hair. So one of the first ones I have is itching. When you, get, when you're, when you feel like your head is itchy under wigs and you've got a scratch, I rarely felt that when my hair was buzzed. I feel that all the time right now. It's a pain in the butt. It's really annoying and I just have to think it's because of my hair is longer and it's shifting and it's moving around under the wigs. It gets matted down. I mean it's not fun. So I didn't really realize that any of the itching and, uh, and that I felt under a wig could be due to my length of my hair, but once I buzzed it, I rarely ever had itching. Really, rarely. Um, my uh, scalp was much less sensitive. So I have androgenic alopecia or female pe pattern hair loss, and I have a pretty sensitive scalp. I've had a really sensitive scalp all my life. Sometimes it's more sensitive than other times. And I did find, once I buzzed my hair, my scalp, up, and it's mainly right here where I feel super sensitive, 
didn't feel as sensitive. It really didn't. It felt so much calmer. And I don't know what that's about, but it's, I know it's a, it's not all in my head because now that my hair is growing back out again, and you can almost can see it's a little red. It just feels a little more irritated. I don't know. I, I don't know what the scientific, there's a scientific reason for it, but it's a fact. And so that's a huge benefit of having buzzed my hair. Showering and getting ready, way better with buzzed hair, honestly. Just so great. And I, th there's no comparison. Um, way, wigs feel a lot more secure, like I said before. That was something I didn't anticipate. Wigs are way more comfortable. With the less itching and them feeling more secure on my head, they're just more comfortable. And it stays, is so much easier to remove and use with my hair buzzed. Or just even putting on a wig and blending my hair. So I use it stays to adhere my wigs every single day. That is my um, product of choice. I always adhere my wigs unless I'm just throwing one on to maybe run to the grocery store. Sometimes I won't. But um, with my hair longer here, the it stays is getting caught in the hair. And I, you know, when I put it stays on and I have a video on this, I put it sort of on my forehead and a little bit on my hairline. And it's taking a lot of effort and water to remove the wig with the it stays with my hair because it's pulling and pulling and pulling on my hair. So I found that not to be a problem at all at all with buzzed hair. In addition, this front hair sometimes wants to get stuck in the lace or this stuff and it just makes it a little bit harder to blend with the wig and so I'm it's it sometimes is getting in the way so that wasn't an issue with buzzed hair and when my hair was longer it wasn't as much of an issue because I would pull it back in a ponytail and it was long enough that all of this would go back but I would sometimes put a little gel or a little hairspray on this part to slick that back. I don't have to do any of that now with buzzed hair. And it's great. It's so great. Um, all right. Back now I'm on to why did I decide to grow it out again? After all of that, after all of those benefits, why suddenly was I having a struggle? Well, you know, sometimes you just have to remind yourself of what it was like before. And you, you do tend to um, romanticize things that are in the past or that you, you know, you minimize a little bit of the struggles that you felt with things in the past. So revisiting them can be a good reminder. So back this summer, I started to have a, this longing to wear uh, wigs and updos. I hadn't worn, I had gotten rid of all my long wigs because I don't wear long wigs. Chin length, bob length, those kinds, that, that's a better length for, for me personally, my preference. But I started to really want to wear my hair up in updos, in ponytails, in claw clips. And so I thought I'll, I'll purchase a couple of long wigs. And I still had a few um, but overall, I just hadn't tried it for months and months. When I went to put my hair up, I started to notice that if I didn't keep up with the buzzing, this hair that starts to grow out sticks out. And it kind of sticks out of the wig. It can stick out of short wigs where the nape is around the same length as my own bio hair. And so I thought maybe in order to wear updos, I would need to grow my hair out so I could pull them up with the updo and blend it. So that was one of the things I started to think about, like maybe I, I need that. And then when I would pull it up, I would find I needed to do some kind of blending there as well. Uh, and I didn't like keeping up with the buzzing, especially at the nape. It just, I didn't want that kind of maintenance, I guess. And so I'm pretty low maintenance when it comes to hair. When you've been losing your hair for a lot of years, it's kind of not your priority because you don't like it. And so I don't have a lot of desire to do a lot of maintenance with my hair, which is why synthetic wigs are so good for me because they're easy. Um, but I thought, well, you know, if I grow it out, then it, if once it's longer, then it won't poke out because at a certain length, it just sticks up. You can't do anything with it. It just sticks up. And so I thought, well, if I grew it out, then that won't be an issue. And like I said before, I didn't really like the way the back of my head looked buzzed. I forget that I never wanted to walk around with my bio hair showing even at home prior to buzzing my head. It was some weird thing that once my hair was buzzed, I felt totally comfortable walking around the house without a wig on or a hat Prior to buzzing my hair, I never did that. It was either a wig or a hat all the time. I didn't ever want to walk around with my bio hair showing. So I kind of forgot that. And so 
that is kind of, I started to think, well, maybe if I grow my hair out, who knows? Let's just see how it goes. So now, where am I at now? 20 minutes into this video, where am I at now? I am going to buzz my hair again, which is why I'm filming this video. I figured I better take advantage of having some hair to show you guys and what a four month regrowth could look like, but before I go buzz it off again. So I am now remembering that my low hairline was a problem pre-buzz because it doesn't lay right. It doesn't, the, the fibers don't match my fibers. The hair doesn't match the fibers on a wig. And I'm the color, I can't get the color to match. I literally wear everything from like a dark rooted blonde to a dark brown with highlights. I mean, I run the gamut. I just love the variety. And so I can't possibly blend my hair with every color I wanna wear. And so that's an issue. And I don't want to color my hair anymore. I just don't want to color my hair. I'm just going to let it go gray. I don't care. I don't want to color it. And so I can't blend it very well. I am noticing the itching and the sensitive scalp. That's a problem for me. I don't want those things. If, the, if there's a solution to them, I want that solution. I found that solution for me to be a buzzed head, really. I don't have the itching and the scalp sensitivity with a buzzed head. I don't know why, but it's a fact. Um, wigs are more uncomfortable with my hair longer. So on a day-to-day -day basis, for the one or two benefits of having my hair longer, I wear wigs 95% of the time, and they're un more uncomfortable now, and I don't like that. So buzz hair is much more comfortable under a wig. The slipping in the back, well, I know nobody can see that, so it's really not that big of a concern from like a public knowing I'm wearing a wig perspective. It's just, I can feel that it slipped up and then I get that cap. I already have a small head. A lot of wigs are already big on the top here and I get a lot of extra space up here. If my wig is slipping up, it kind of increases that space and then it does make a little like bump there. So that's something I know I can solve by having a buzzed head. And then seeing my super fine hair, it's kind of making me sad again. I mean, it's not attractive. It's really not. I don't know, you guys, if how much you can tell on camera, but it's really thin. And if you look at me straight on like this, it's not so bad. I'll look in the mirror and go, I might be able to manage this actually. But then I tilt my head a little bit and you see all that. It just makes me sad. It's not, <laughs> it's not attractive. And I don't really want to look at it if I don't have to. So that's my story. That's where I'm at. I had long hair. I have had buzzed hair. I've been growing my hair back out a little bit now for four months. And I don't see any reason to keep my hair like this. I really don't. I'm not going to go out with it. I will tell you guys, I filmed a video, I think last weekend, as I was contemplating buzzing my hair again. I did a video using Topic hair fibers. I've never done a video on those, even though I wore them for 20 years. That was what I did to hide my hair loss for 20 years was wear Topic hair fibers. So I did a quick video last weekend showing you guys how you can use hair fibers to disguise your hair loss in case you're in a place where you're not quite ready for full-time wigs, but you haven't discovered hair fibers yet. My hair is long enough now that I could I actually could get away with putting some hair fibers in and going out. And I did wear my hair that way. I think it might have been last Saturday I filmed the video. I haven't published it yet. I actually may publish this one first and then publish that one. I don't know yet. So you can check my channel to see if it's out. I will film videos and then strategically publish them at certain times. I don't know. I don't have a real rhyme or reason. But I did wear my hair out with the hair fibers on. I went shopping with my husband last weekend. I think grocery shopping or something. And I went there with my hair like this with the fibers in. I didn't feel that uncomfortable. I mean, the fibers hid all my scalp just fine. I don't want to wear hair fibers anymore. I did it for 20 years. It's messy. It's so messy, you guys. I mean, it kind of gets over everything. It's a pain in the butt. When I go to sleep at night with them in, it gets all over my pillow, but I don't want to wash my hair every single night. Um, hair fibers can be a great solution. Like I said, I did it for 20 years. I don't want to do it anymore. I really don't. And so the only way this hair makes sense to keep 
is if I'm gonna put some hair fibers in it and sometimes just go with my bio hair. I know that I'm not gonna do that. And I'm not going to a hairstylist and at some point I'm gonna have to have a professional help me cut this if I were to keep it where I would sometimes wanna put fibers in because I don't have the skill to do it. And I, you know, it's starting to get to the point where it needs to be evened out or something needs to be done to it. And then my family did tell me last weekend that my hair looked like I stuck my finger in a light socket. <laughs> I love my family so much. I really do. They're just so honest. But I was thinking that it looked pretty good, actually. I put a little gel in it. And, you know, this is my remote for my camera. I put a little gel in it. And um, I thought it looked pretty good. But they're like, yeah, I don't know. You kind of look like you stuck your finger in a light socket. I think my daughter might have said that. And my husband and son kind of were like, yeah that's what it looks like so I don't know here's this is why this is it this is the video this is why I wanted to talk to you guys I wish we could t t chat back and forth about this so I could hear what you guys are thinking um, but if you're thinking of buzzing your hair and you're just not sure here's just one more data point for you one more experience um, I feel like this is a really well-rounded experience now since I've kind of had before after after uh, and I'm gonna tell you guys I'm happy with how it is when it's buzzed. I really am. But at the end of the day, the bottom line, there is no perfect solution. We have hair loss and everything is a series of trade-offs. It really is. You have to think about what's most important to you. What is your? What are you experiencing that you don't want to experience? It could help your scalp like it has mine. It may have no impact. Having buzzed hair could make your wig stay on more securely, like mine and like many, many others, or you don't notice any change. I mean, there's just so many things you don't know. You can always grow your hair back out. That is an option. I will tell you, though, it's not an easy option because there is that, like anybody who's ever cut their hair or cut bangs or whatever they've done, there is a, there is a point in the regrowth where it's a pain in the butt. It won't do anything, it won't cooperate with you, it wants to stick up in every direction. So it's it, you can absolutely grow it back out, but you will hit that awkward phase that you're gonna have to try to figure your way through. Um, but, so I personally think it's worth trying, unless you've got some really compelling reasons not to, or you still wear toppers sometimes, or you have long hair and you wear baseball caps a lot and you wanna be able to pull your own hair into a ponytail. I mean, you gotta think about your lifestyle and what you do most of the time. I wear wigs most of the time. And so having my hair for baseball caps isn't that big of a, an issue for me. I'll figure that one out. I hope this was helpful for you guys. I would love to answer any questions that you have. I know our wig sisters will leave some comments, so please read them if you're on the fence about this and see what other people have to say. And I just want to give you guys big hugs and um, like just wrap my arms around you through this journey because I know what you're going through. I absolutely know what you're going through. I find it funny that you know I do a lot of videos, and so people sometimes think of me as... I've had people tell me I'm like sort of a minor celebrity. I gotta tell you guys, I'm just your wig sister who, uh, for whatever reason, enjoys making these videos. But I, there's nothing special about me except that I'm willing to share my journey completely with you guys. And I want to, and I want to help you. So just know you're not alone in this. You're absolutely not alone in this. A lot of people go through this. If you're not a member of um, some of the wig groups on Facebook, I know a lot of people are leaving Facebook right now. I've seen it. Um, if you're not on Instagram, uh, I, I just think I'm not a I'm not trying to promote social media, but I think having some wig sisters that you can chat with or that you can read their questions and comments and how everybody supports each other could be really helpful. So even if you do it, join just for a time frame, like for a few months, just so that you can get the support you need. Consider doing that because I do think it's helpful to hear others' experiences and what they're going through. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you're having a great Thanksgiving holiday. I don't know when this video will go out, but I just want you to know that you're all in my prayers. I'm so grateful for you all and for being part of this community, and we're all in this together. We really are. Take care, and I'll talk to you guys soon.